Hey everyone, I am here in Brownsville, Texas, live at the invasion. Yes, I am here. We are uh, watching as our nation's borders have completely crumbled. Yes, Olympus has fallen. Remember that movie? Olympus has fallen. I can't remember, but it was with the White House. And it was when the White House just, fiction, of course, totally just fell, collapsed. Uh, that's the way I feel right here now at the U.S.-Mexico border, a day away from Title 42. Yes, ending. And by the way, it's already ended, pretty much. Pretty much, because I am out here, I am watching as... Uh, the people are being released, and I'll go into details of why um, I was there right near the Rio Grande River, but right now they're putting up all kinds of barbed wire with the National Guard. Uh, Texas Department of Public Safety is out there. My good friend Chris Olivares is out there, uh, but they're keeping reporters, for the most part, at least earlier in the day, away from the river uh, because of all the barbed wire that they've been putting up. And let's just be honest. Let's just be honest. It is a freaking mess, and they don't want you to see it. They don't want you to see how bad it is, but they can't help it. It's just overflowing. And Governor Greg Abbott is doing everything that he can, I believe, right now with the resources that he has. That's why they called in the National Guard Quick Reaction Force. And honestly, I've got to look into this. And I asked the Brigadier General, I asked Brigadier General Matthew Barker, is this the first time we've ever used the QRFs? Like, at our U.S.-Mexico border, I mean, in modern times, in ancient times, I don't know. And he didn't even really have an answer. We've used QRF before inside cities. They're trained for rioting. They're trained to assist our law enforcement officers when situations dissolve, basically, and you need that kind of help. It's not about logistics. It's not about just paper shuffling at the border, which is what happens most of the time. Um, or the National Guard actually has been asked to assist people cross the river so they don't drown. Um, these QRFs, which are part of the 500-plus that are here at the border requested by Governor Greg Abbott, my governor, um, are here to assist our law enforcement officers because it is just that bad. They are very concerned about the situation dissolving into something dangerous, and I'll go into all those details. And the questions that I had actually for the Brigadier General, and for our law enforcement officials. Um, I'll be heading back out to the border tonight. I may do um, some night reconnaissance as well later tonight with our National Guard out in the brush. Uh, I will keep you posted on that throughout future podcasts. But before we go any deeper into this topic, um, uh, I want to tell you about Fast Growing Trees. I'm out here in beautiful Brownsville, Texas, yes. Um, and it's a desert community, right? And out here, I think, is still Region 8, like where I live. I live in hill country, which is a little bit different. It's uh, There's more moisture. There's more rain. There's rivers. There's a little bit different environment. Out here on the border, It's there's a lot of cactus. There's some trees out here, but there's a lot of, you know, desert plants and animals. Well, guess what? If you go to Fast Growing Trees, fastgrowingtrees.com backslash Carter, you will find your region out here if you live here in Brownsville and they will ship the plants that are perfect for your region right to your door. You could not ask for more, right? You just couldn't because you're going to have a plant expert. You're going to get, guess what, 15% off of your entire order if you put in C-A-R-T-E-R, -E yes. And that's how wonderful it is. You could be out here in Texas, um, even if you're by the border and people are running through your backyard, Take a little time to smell the flowers. Take a little time to order some plants and, and beautify your area, right? Let's do it. Um, again, you go to fastgrowingtrees.com backslash Carter. There you will join over 1.5 million. Think about that. Happy Fast Growing Trees customers. You'll be planting trees with your family and your children and enjoying a beautiful, beautiful backyard this summer season. Go to fastgrowingtrees.com backslash Carter now to get 15% off your entire order. Get 15% off at fastgrowingtrees.com backslash Carter, fastgrowingtrees.com backslash Carter. So I'm going to start in sequence of the day and how I arrived here. So I left late last night um, from where I'm at in Texas, from my home, 
And I was with my son. He's working with me out here on the border. Yes, it's a family business, right? And I, I had my son drive because, as you all know, I just got back from Hungary. And I'm literally having the weirdest jet lag you can ever imagine. I'm sure some of you have experienced this. Like, I keep thinking I'm going to go to sleep right now. And, and then I realize, wow, no, it's only 4 o'clock. So I'm, I'm getting my body used to being back in the United States. So... Alex has been working with me and he, you know, jumped in the Jeep that we rented and we headed out and there were some monsoons. So the GPS just kept wanting to divert us late at night. And eventually we got here to Brownsville, but it was like almost 2 a.m. So a very long night of driving um, to get out here. Uh, and we'll be putting a lot of the video uh, clips and, of course, everything on Fox uh, on Fox News, Sean Hannity's show. Um, so I'm out here covering the story for him as well as as well as for for the podcast and myself. And, you know, I've been covering the border for like 20 years. And I've never in my life seen anything like this. This situation is beyond anything you can ever imagine. The pictures and the videos being posted don't even do it justice. Thousands upon thousands of people crossing in just this area every day, and it's building. And, you know, this morning when I got up, we finally got everything together. We headed out to the border um, by the river, and like I said, the police and the National Guard uh, were there. Uh, the law enforcement community has been very adamant that they're not letting people cross into that area um, our Texas DPS um, officers are working with the governor, Operation Lone Star, as well as um, with Brigadier General Matthew Barker. They're, they're taking care of the border situation under Governor Greg Abbott's direction. And they're trying to stop this flow. And it is absolutely stunning. So I'm out there um, getting ready for a press conference, and you look about less than half a mile down the road, there are hundreds of people pouring in. And in fact, I ran into Bill Malusian um, down there. We were talking and Fox News has the drone that goes overhead because when we can't get near the river, the drone is the best thing, right? It can show you what's happening as far as as far as the drone can fly, basically, as far as the eye can see or as far as the drone can fly. And this drone and I was talking to Bill, and as he's just done some really great reporting. I'm talking to him, and he's telling me, like, every time you think the line is going to end, it gets even longer. And it's like four, five, six, seven football fields long. And everybody's coming in. And everybody's being released. And you've got Custom and Border Patrol, you know, Customs and Border Protection, our Border Patrol agents, saying this is just, in fact, one of them sent me, okay, um, Cheech and Chong, remember Cheech and Chong? Okay, so one of them sent me the funniest clip. I mean, this is not funny, but you have to, like, laugh about it, but it's a clip from YouTube, and it's from the Cheech and Chong movie, and it's two Border Patrol agents, or some movie that he was in, it's two BP agents just talking, and they're like, dude, there's nobody out there, just this one Mexican. And it's Cheech, and he's standing up on a hill, Right. He's standing up on a hill and one of the Border Patrol agents, he turns around uh, to take a piss. So nobody's paying attention. And as Cheech is standing there on the hill, he starts waving his arms forward and then just like hundreds and then thousands of people just start running. And it's just like a rush, a mad rush. And you got two Border Patrol agents sitting down there that all of a sudden look up and realize Oh my gosh, we're, we're getting pummeled. We're being invaded, right? And that's how they feel. That's how they feel. That's why I got that video. Because they feel like their hands are tied behind their backs and the Biden administration is just going to let everybody in. Now, on the other hand, you have Governor Greg Abbott. And he has done just an incredible job, as best he can, trying to protect not only first and foremost, the great state of Texas, which is his job, but the rest of the United States of America. But he can only do so much. 
He can say, you can't cross these lines. He can put up the, the Constantina wire. He can, you know, send the National Guard down. He can put Texas DPS right there on the border. And he's, and they're all looking across saying, hey, you can't cross. Go that way. You can't cross. And that what they're trying to do is divert everybody to the bridges. And by the way, there were reports right now that uh, there has been a shooting at the Reynosa Bridge. So that will bring me to my next topic with you because there has been some shooting over at Reynosa. Um, they believe right on the border. I'm still looking at reports coming here. Let me, uh, let me read it to you so that you're as up to date as me in this exact moment. But this is what it says right now. This is Nick Sorter. Uh, breaking heavy gunfire reported on the U.S.-Mexico border at the Far Reynosa International Bridge. It's about an hour from me. This is a developing story, and uh, de you know details will be made available as soon as possible. So this is what we've got going on. We've got literally hundreds of busloads of people from all over the world, a lot from Venezuela here, pouring into the country. We have possibly a shooting at the bridge. You know, and we've got our quick reaction force National Guardsmen here with the, you know, included in the 500 plus that are here at the border, at the Texas border, trying to protect our country. And my question was, is like, they're not, they don't have any weapons on them. So what happens if they get shot at? What are they going to do? Use their shields? They're set up for riot. That's what they're set up for. These are trained riot officers that are going to assist law enforcement. These are, or trained riot troops. That is the correct way that are going to assist law enforcement officers, right? But their lives mean something. They have to be able to defend themselves. And they will. I was told that, that if anything does go sideways, they have the authority to defend themselves. But why are we at this point? This should never be happening. This should not be happening. This is only happening because the Biden administration has allowed this to happen. I want you to just think about what is going on here. I want you to imagine that you're me and you are sitting at the U.S.-Mexico border, um, 11,000 migrants crossing that border Tuesday, part of the nearly... By the time Biden leaves, I believe over 8 million people that have been allowed into our nation. Millions who we don't even know who they are. They're known gotaways. They could be connected to terrorism. They could be criminals. A lot of the gotaways, by the way, have a reason that they want to get away. It's not, they don't want to turn themselves into Border Patrol folks. They don't want to do that. Why? Because they may have a criminal record, a criminal background. They're probably criminals in their country of origin. There's a lot of reasons. They're moving in children to sell to sexual predators. They're moving in women to put on, you know, as, as modern day slaves. There is nothing about this that is remotely, remotely good. Nothing. And it's... Not staying here in Texas, although some of them are. I'm going to go over that a little bit with you. And uh, just so we're clear of what the Biden administration is doing, just so you get and understand this, because I know you've got to be just as frustrated as I am. This is about our families. This is about our nation. This is about our children. This is about the fentanyl that's pouring across the border and killing people. I've already lost two people connected to our family that we know from counterfeit fentanyl pills. This is about every single one of us and a federal government whose only job, only job that our president really has is to protect the national security of our country and to protect citizens of our country. That is his job as commander in chief and he has utterly failed at it and he is giving everything over to the cartels, everything. Everything to the human traffickers, everything to the cartels, perpetuating this kind of behavior so that we are going to pay the price. He is not going to pay the price. Not the way we are. And he doesn't care. And frankly, they really don't care. And I want to tell you what's going on here. 
I've talked to sources. I've talked to sources on the ground. I've talked to sources in from Arizona, Texas, to California, to Washington, D.C. And right now, the Biden administration is releasing all the migrants. And by the way, you don't even need to talk to sources. Just come down here to Brownsville and go to the street and just talk to the people that are walking all over the street. We don't even need sources. You just come down here. Just go down here. Just say, hey, what's your name? Oh, your name's Juan. Juan, where are you from? Oh, I'm from Venezuela. Hey, what happened? Hey, man, you know what? I crossed the border. Uh, they held me for like four hours, and then they dumped me in the middle of the street. Really? Did they tell you where you could go? Not really. They're sending me over to the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church says I may be able to take a shower sometime tomorrow. So these are people who are all over the streets in an American community that have no food to eat, no place to go, who, by the way, a lot of them have friends here already because guess what? Our border's been wide open. It's been just wide open for so long that people have friends here now and that those friends are paying for them to take trips back and forth. So the Biden administration is doing what it always does and it just in bigger, greater numbers now is releasing migrants, uh, and this is without court dates, so you were all aware of this, to alleviate overcrowding in March 2021, but had previously enrolled those migrants in programs known as alternatives to detention. Alternatives to detention means that they're just letting them go, okay? That's just as simple as that. I keep simplifying this. So Biden administration equals letting go of migrants all over the country, and they really do not give a shit, excuse my language, if these people have criminal histories, if they're going to move next door to you, if they are part of MS-13, or if they're just regular people that they are dumping onto the streets that are then going to be taken advantage of by the cartels that are now operating in our country and all over our streets. And by the way, there is a cartel operating here in Brownsville um, that, and I could give you the name, i got to go through my notes here, that is actually trying to extort even more money from the migrants that are here. They're like shaking them down at the churches, shaking them down in our community, and then basically, basically then fighting it out with the uh, cartels from Mexico. So we've got a Venezuelan cartel on our streets, and let me give you their names. This is really so much fun right now. It's just unbelievable to me how ridiculous this is. Um, there are now members of Tren de Aruga, Aragua, ver, perdona, that's my Spanish being very bad right now, Tren de Aragua, now, and that's just my Americanization of that. Let's say it one more time. Tren de Aragua, now charging illegals to pass the razor wire. So the razor wire is inside the United States. We have a Venezuelan group now charging, taking money from illegals because they're like, well, what the hell? We're here, right? We might as well capitalize on this. Let's make some money. So we have this Venezuelan gang taking the monies. Now they're battling it out with the Mexican cartels who are like, oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. This is huge because now they've got the Gulf cartel They've got CDN money. They've got all these people, Nuevo Generacion, everybody who's saying, well, guess what? You can't be operating in our territory. You can't be charging them more money because we control the territory. So now we're going to have massive bloodshed is what some people believe. It's a Venezuelan cartel. They're concerned for the safety of all of our officers and our National Guard working along the border, right? Right. I am sure being out in the brush with them later tonight or tomorrow night is going to be just a blast because it's going to be just scary, right? Because we have officers out there that are putting everything on the line and doing everything to protect each and every one of us, each and every one of us. And that's, I'm not even over exaggerating that. And to protect those, those poor children. I saw children on the streets, protect those poor children from the horrors that they faced. And by the way, they did face them. And people were very honest with me. In fact, a group that I interviewed that had come through the Darien Gap where my good friend Michael Yon, God bless him and, and keep him safe out there, has been in reporting from there so, so frequently. But they were telling me that the rapes are continuing, that children have been targeted, um, that there was somebody that was in their group, a child actually got caught in the crossfire of some gunfire and was hit and had to be hospitalized in Panama on their way here, and that bad guys and bad gals and, and people are coming through the border with them, and that it's overflowing right now in Matamoros, and that's, you know, the city right over, the 
the border from here. Let me tell you about Allegiance Gold. Allegiance Gold is a sponsor of The Sarah Carter Show, and I'm very proud to say that they are. And you see what's happening in our country. You see how everything is just falling apart from the banking systems to, of course, the U.S.-Mexico border. And you saw what happened in Canada, right? When bank accounts were seized by, you know, Trudeau, you know, and we saw what happened here in the United States when some of the banking systems were just like, guess what? I don't agree with you, Don Jr. I don't like you, Lieutenant General Michael Flynn. I don't like so-and-so, so get out of my bank. That's a sign that you need to diversify. And that's not just, I'm not even telling you what to do. I'm just telling you, please diversify. Please diversify. And I want you to look into Allegiance Gold. This isn't about me telling you what to do. This is about you investigating for yourself a great organization, a great company that is going to help you diversify. And my friends at Allegiance Gold can do just that. They can help you protect your IRA. They can help you protect your 401k with physical gold and silver that is delivered securely right to your front door. I mean, you can't ask for more. They'll deliver it right to your front door. And right now, you'll get $5,000 of free silver on a qualifying purchase when you tell them that Sarah sent you. S-A-R-A. So don't wait. Call or click today. 877-702-7272. That's 877-702-SARAH. S-A-R-A, no H. Or go to protectwithsarah.com. That's protectwithsarah.com. We cannot control the Biden administration. That's obvious but we can prepare and we better prepare. 877-702-7272. That's 877-702-SARAH, S-A-R-A, or protectwithsarah.com. Thanks for joining me today. If you want to follow me as I report from the ground, telling you the stories that you're not going to get from the mainstream wild and lying media, just join the Sarah Carter Show. Be a part of our family, and I promise you I will always deliver you the truth, and I will take you to the most dangerous places on earth, and hopefully I'll come back from them, but I'll bring you the information that you're going to need so that you can make the right decisions for you and your family. Subscribe to my channel here on YouTube and on Rumble, and thank you so much. It really does help. Guys, we are in a mess. We have got to be aware of what is going on. We have got to take care of each other. And we have got to hold our lawmakers accountable. This is absolutely the most important thing that we can be doing. This border crisis is spawning into something that I can't even imagine. And I've been covering it for 20 years. I don't know what the future holds for our nation. But we can't keep going down this road. This road is a disaster in the making. It's already there. Our children are being murdered. Our citizens are being murdered. Innocent people that are being trafficked are being murdered. Who is responsible for this? Who is that? Let's just leave it at this last question. Who is responsible for this if not the president of these United States and his administration who made this possible? You know what? Pray for everyone out here. Pray that this somehow stops. Because if it doesn't, I really, I really do not know what the future will hold. Like I've said before, 2024 cannot come fast enough. We are all warriors in the fight for our great nation. And I mean that in all the right ways. I mean that in the good ways. You know, the FBI is probably going to be like, oh, she said warriors in the fight for our nation. She's a domestic terrorist. No, I am not. I absolutely believe in peaceful turnover of power. I'm going to lay that clear right here. But I believe that it is up to all of us to pay attention to what's happening in our world and to stand up to that and to not be afraid. Do not be afraid to speak up. I'm not afraid. I believe the most important thing, the most important thing is sharing that information with you, this information, so that you can make the best decisions concerning you and your family. And yes, I'm now a columnist and you know my opinion. And my opinion right now is that the Biden administration sucks. They're the worst administration in the United States in the history of America. And our border is wide open and it is not being protected. And if they tell you it is, they are lying to you. All you have to do is believe your eyes. Believe it. Don't believe 
their lies. Thank you so much for following me here um, and joining me on The Sarah Carter Show. Remember to download this podcast wherever you get your podcasts. It really helps me. Follow me on Truth at Sarah Carter Official on Twitter at Sarah Carter DC and on Instagram at S Carter DC. God bless all of our military, especially our National Guard here protecting us at the border. God bless the Texas Department of Public Safety and all of our local law enforcement. God bless all of you and our nation because we are truly, truly in desperate need of prayer and we truly have to ask God for all of his help. This is a disaster. And by the way, God bless the great state of Texas and Governor Greg Abbott. Thank you for all that you do.